let's realize what happened here. I just mined a piece of coal using eggplant. Six months later. Wow, guys, it has been a long time, and I really apologize. But the thing was, I had to finish my school. In fact, I just graduated with my master's degree, so now I have a little more time on my hands. Now, the last thing that happened, like six months ago, was I died in the nether, at the very top of the nether. So here is my tombstone. Okay, let's just break that. Whee! Got my stuff back. All right, cool. Okay, new problem. It has been six months since I've played. I have no idea where I am. Hopefully, I can make it out of here alive. Ooh, this looks good. I think this is home. And here's my portal. I need to put a waypoint here. There we go. I'll never get lost again. Yay. Going home. Ah, it feels so good to be back. All right, what was I doing? When I last left, I was working on getting a mine factory reloaded uh, mining laser. Let's go ahead and get back to work on that. Okay, so I was messing with the cow farm, and I accidentally shot a portal on the floor of the cows. Horrible idea. Uh, so let's go through and survey the damage. Okay, hello. Cows in my house. Not where you belong, people. Okay, did I get them all? Let me see. Oh, one more. So why did I not just slaughter them all? I could have done that, but I'd rather really let the machine do it. Mwahahaha. Go slaughterhouse. And that brings us to today's episode where we're gonna use some of this pink slime and we're gonna work on getting our mining mining laser from Mine Factory Reloaded. All right, what we need to do is make a couple empty syringes, add some slime balls and lapis, a slime and beginning syringe, and I can't find a bucket, so let's make one. It's bucket time. Take the bucket, grab some slime, Go downstairs to our temporary slime arena. Dump it out. Ah, uh, there we go. Now we have our slime. So if I were to kill this, I'll get like one or two slime balls, maybe. This is where the uh, syringe comes in. Whack it with the syringe, and it got bigger. Now it's dangerous. Oh, yeah. Let's hit it again. Oh, that's a slime right there. Now we can take out. Get some smaller slimes. Get some slime balls. If we wanted to, I could use the syringe on them again and get even more. But I have plenty of pink slime upstairs. Okay, new plan. Oh, there he is. Safari ball. Now let's put it into the auto spawner. And doping me can't put a single use safari net into an auto spawner. Okay, we need a multiple use one. But for a reusable safari net, you need a gas tier. And this gas is kind of terrifying. Oh, there he is. Did I get it? I can't tell. Nope, no tier. I'll cry my own tear. Nope, never mind. I found it. Here it is. It's amazing. And I have no room for it. Let me throw away the bone. There we go. I have a tear. Yay. There we go. That's what we need. All right, let's try this again. Slime, reusable, auto spawner, go upstairs. There we go. Little pink slimes. They're spawning. Now we essentially have an unlimited supply of pink slime balls. Awesome. On a side note, I now have 40,000 eggs and I have no idea what I'm going to do with them. Any ideas? Tell us in the comments. So we need the slime balls to make pink slime blocks. Put those into a furnace and you get pink slime crystals. And those are what we need. Okay, so I think these slime machine got a little out of hand. Slime's everywhere. On a side note, we now have two stacks of pink slime balls, so that's a plus. All right, let's do some crafting, get some plastic sheets, make some redstone conductance coil. And the last thing we need for the pre-chargers is this glowstone illuminator, which means we need to put energized glowstone into an illuminator frame. Simple enough. We just need some signalum, which we can get from silver, copper, and tin redstone. Okay, wait, that's three copper, one silver. And there's the signalum. Throw in some quartz. Okay, and this will make the illuminator frame. To get the energized glowstone, we'll use the smeltery, and it takes a long time. Okay, so I'm looking at this, and apparently the smeltery does not get hot enough on lava fuel to smelt glowstone. So let's pull that out. I read that there's another type of fuel called uh, blazing pyrothium. Let's uh, give that a shot and see what we find out. Take sulfur, blaze powder, redstone, and powdered coal. Okay, so I lost a little bit of video, but basically what you have to do is you put your blazing pyrothium dust into your smeltery, let it melt down, and then run it out of faucet or out of the drain into the seared tank over here. So what I have here in this tank is liquid blazing pyrothium, as you can see over here. And with this, it does get hot enough to smelt glowstone or redstone or whatever else. The video I lost also involved me building the, the laser drill and the pre-chargers. So let's just assume that I built those and continue on. Okay, so we got the mining drill. We need a nice platform to put it on. How about this tower? Mining drills work better when they're up in the air, about 128 blocks. What that does is that it reduces the amount of energy required for each operation. So it still uses just as much energy, but it runs faster. All right, so we're gonna put it over this hole. This hole goes all the way down to bedrock. We're at Y130 right now. So take the laser drill, put it right there. Very cool looking. And place the pre-chargers one block away on each side. 
There we go. That looks cool. Now, it doesn't have any energy or work right now, so we need to get some power up here. Really quick and dirty solution, just to get it running. We're going to put a gold chest on top of it. That'll catch any drops that it might have. And I grabbed a culinary generator up on top of that. We're going to run some wires from this out to the different places. Power that. We're going to put a hopper on top of it. And a reinforced cache, which is full of stuffed eggplant on top of that. But we'll get some, some wiring first. To make some wiring, we're going to need some binder composite from Ender.io. Throw that into a furnace. That'll give us some conduit binder. Now let's make some energetic alloy. It's a little expensive, but it'll be worth it. So we got some energetic alloy. I'm going to take that and use a induction smelter. We're going to put energetic alloy in as well as some ender pearls. The induction smelter is a little bit cheaper than, than the alloy smelter. So what we can do is we can pull out the vibrant alloy from that and make some ender energy conduit, which has a max output of 20,500 RF per tick. That'll let us expand later on. Okay, back on top of the mining tower, get it all set up. So we'll set it to extract from the generator and insert into the precharger. All right, so all we really need to do now is put the reinforced cache on top of the hopper. It's pulling out, culinary generator is filling up, and let's see if we get some ores. Ah, there it is. Brilliant. First ore is a coal ore. Now, it took a little while to do, and you know, it's not very fast yet. We're going to work on expanding it. Let's realize what happened here. I just mined a piece of coal using eggplant. Let's back up a little bit so this looks like. That's actually really cool looking. Um, I'm going to eventually build up some more platforms, get this area looking really interesting, and uh, work on a little more automation. But for now, this chest is in take care of our needs. It will not fill up anytime soon. Side note, do not touch the mining laser beam. It will harm you. This goes all the way down to bedrock. Oh, see, it will set you on fire. Oh, water. Anyway, this goes all the way down to bedrock, and it uh, looks pretty cool, too. So I like the looks of it. Well, that's a pretty good start for our mining operation. This is Binary Guy 10, and this is it for Episode 7. Again, glad to be back, and hope to be getting some more Minecraft episodes out for you soon. Oh, that's it. Thanks for watching, and have a good one.